Yo, what is up guys? It is Ryan Sneaks back with another video and today I'm going to be talking about uh, Supreme Fall Winter 2016. Today was the first online drop. Uh, they did do an in-store already so I kind of knew it was coming out today and of course like you get that preview on uh, Wednesday nights from people. Uh, but I'm just going to kind of go over what I think about this season and what I think is worth copying and what is not. Uh, of the last few years, I haven't really been into it. I haven't really decided, like, if I'm going to get all the way back into Supreme, like, the way I was, like, four or five years ago. Um, or if I was just going to keep it real simple and just get a couple things. But from the way it looks, I'm just going to grab a few things. I'm not going to be getting something every fucking drop like I used to. So, this video is going to be long as fuck. Just a warning. It's going to be, like, an hour. So, uh, if you just want to play this and, like, chill in the background or whatever, I'm just going to be talking about some shit and just bullshitting. But these, like, shoot leather jackets right there. They're like a thousand dollars, so I'm not gonna be picking that shit up. And plus, it's gonna be too hot for it. The one that was pretty cool was a few years back. They actually did one that came with pins, the fly pin, which is pretty dope. Uh, these arc logos are nice, but then again, like it's too fucking hot here in Texas. So that kind of just like, since they're like a New York brand, and I guess like LA, I don't know how the fuck y'all wear that in LA if y'all buy that shit or it's just a resale. It's like it's too fucking hot. So, I mean. But then you get some other stuff like these marshmallow things, and uh, they're pretty dope. Like I like that black one, but it just reminds me when I was a little kid, and my parents would make me wear that shit, and I hated it, so I don't think I like it now anyway. Uh, these are pretty dope. I don't like this brown one. I like the one that's coming up next. Uh, next. Yeah, there you go. That one right there is pretty dope. Uh, just because it's like a, a natural denim or whatever, but then it has those angels on it, so that's pretty cool. I like that. Um... And uh, I actually did this video beforehand and talked the whole time just to realize there was no audio. So fuck me, right? So I'm doing this shit all over again for you guys. Even though y'all probably aren't going to watch this whole video, I just kind of want to get my thoughts on it. I don't like any of this. My grandpa has a jacket just like that without the Supreme branding. Um, This, what am I going to put? Okay, so this is okay. I'm not going to say it's bad. I do like it. I like the white one. Um... This is shit. Don't know what they're thinking with that. That's disgusting. The black one's a little bit better, but still. Nah. Um, I actually did cop some stuff today. I actually got the red backpack. So, pretty happy with that. This is nice. I really like that, but that, sh sh that little fuzz on that top, I'm not really digging it because it's going to get too fucking hot. But I do like that. So, yeah, I got the red backpack. I was going to get some tees, but I was at work. This is the one outer piece that I am fucking wet for. This is like some shit. I like this. And it's reversible. So fuck yeah. You can wear it twice. I am down with that shit. It's going to be expensive as fuck. My price point is probably going to be like 300 on it. But is it worth it? Fuck no. Am I going to get it? Fuck yeah. So. But yeah, I got the I got the red backpack. I was going to get some tees, but I was at work. So I have people bitching at me. Like asking me to hurry up and whatever. And uh, I, I went through with it, like, I helped him out, but I still wanted to get my shit. So I just got my backpack, and then I looked back, and all this stuff was still sitting. So this is the first time in a while. This one's pretty nice. Um, the black and pink kind of goes well together. The one after this, I think it's like, what is it? That one is nice. This one reminds me of uh, Luke Skywalker. Like, when he's in his Rebel Pilot uniform, that is straight up that. Uh, I would get it if it was cheap, but it's not, so I'm not going to cop it. So how about that? The black one's dope, too. Um, what else are we going to take a look at? So this, we got some vests. Um, I'm not really into vests. Like, the best vest the Supreme has ever put out, in my opinion, is that tactical one. That one was pretty dope. But, like, these with that Sherpa lining, uh, not really into it. Especially since the reversible part is Sherpa, you get to see that shit, and... That's not my style. I'm just not into that. Uh, what we got next? Uh, some baseball varsity jackets. Um, some other shit. I mean, some of it's okay. Um, I'm going to kind of go through everything, though. So, like, this is just like a Playboy jacket. And I like Playboy stuff. Like, uh, like Playboy chain was actually probably one of my favorites. But I just can't see myself wearing it. I just don't think I would pull it off. So, I don't know. Plus, my girlfriend would probably get all bitchy at me about it. Uh, shit, what else we got? We got these jackets. More jackets. There's a bunch of fucking jackets, man. And I mean, I get, like, it's fall, winter. I'm fucking stupid for saying, yeah, there's a lot of jackets, but 
There's a shit ton of jackets. And I'm not going to be able to wear any of these. Like this. I don't know. They're pretty dope. Like, I like them. But I ain't going to wear it just because it's too hot over here. Like, we get, like, maybe one or two months of it being cold here in Texas. For some reason, this winter wasn't even cold. Like, I think the coldest it got was, like, 50. Which is ridiculous. Like, usually it'll drop to, like, 30s maybe. And it didn't get anywhere close to that. Uh, these coaches jackets are cool, but I don't fuck with that old English shit, so, uh, I think they got it in red and black, too, so, I don't know, not really feeling them, oh, you got that yellow one, too, definitely not feeling that, um, puffy jacket, astronaut, no, it's not that astronaut on the back, not, I don't know, I don't dig that, like, if it was, uh, if it was a t-shirt or something, maybe. But not really feeling that. And I don't know. I guess I'm like the only one that doesn't feel it because I know a lot of people do fuck with that. But uh, for me, I'm just not. I'm not feeling it. Like something like this, I actually kind of do like. But if it was a different material. That Sherpa fleece. Uh, maybe if it was just like a... I don't know. Just like a different material. Like canvas or just like a normal jacket with that print. It would be a little bit better. Uh, these right here, like these overcoats, I definitely am not messing with. That's not my style. Uh, man, it's just a bunch of shit. This, for some reason, they always do something like this. A big fancy fucking coat for like $2,000 and it sells out instantly. And I don't know who the fuck's wearing this. Like, I want to know who the fuck's wearing this. Because, I don't know. Like, there's just, I don't see anybody thinking like, I want a, a nice fur coat and I want it to be from Supreme. Because this could be even overpriced. Uh, this more 3M overall. They did a lot of that. Like, you could probably get a whole outfit out of that 3M shit that they're doing. And I'm sure there's gonna be one dude wearing it all. And it's probably gonna be like me. So, fuck it. Now, I'm just, I just got the backpack. Um, I plan on getting the duffel bag later if they still sit. And then the umbrella. But that's it. I'm not getting the camp cap or the jacket or the pants or anything like that. Fishtails are dope, but they're wool. So, this isn't gonna be able to work with me like if it was like a rain material or even like a twill i could possibly work with that but with wool that ain't gonna work it's gonna be too hot although the black one's fucking dope uh what else are we looking at some more big coats it's just too big man like that parka stuff i can't fuck with it mm, what else Nah, I had the mohair cardigan from a while back, and that shit's itchy as fuck. I'm not fucking with that again. I think I sold it for, like, under retail, and now they go for a shit ton. So, fuck my life, right? That is fucking dope. I like this, but I cannot pull that shit off, so... Well, you know, maybe. Maybe. I kind of really want the pants out of it, but I think the pants would be harder to pull off than that. I don't know, I'm gonna have to think on that, because that shit's gonna be expensive as fuck anyway. I just wish I could pull that shit off. Because it looks dope. I don't think I would look cool in it, though. I think I look, like, fucking stupid. But it is very nice. Like, the pants right there, those are fucking fire. Ah, uh, fuck. I think, it, like, I don't even know what shoes I'd fucking wear with that. But I'm, like, all hyped up on it. It'd probably have to be, like, Vans. Or something, like, very low cut. So, yeah, probably Vans. But I really do like those. Like, I really wish I got the floral pants from years back. Uh, those are fucking nice. And now I can't, so... Whatever. Like, I can't even find them on Grailed. I can't find them on Grailed, eBay, uh, Supreme for Sale. can't find shit. This champion jacket is really nice if it wasn't so fucking long. Like, everything they're doing is so long, and I don't get it. That is so nice. That, like, peach color? Fucking nice. But it's just, I don't know. I can't, I can't pull that shit off. Like, it's way too long, you know? And then it's sharp on the inside, so it's like a double fuck. Like, god damn it. If they would just make, like, some lighter, I guess that's spring-summer stuff, but I guess here in Texas, all we do is wear spring-summer stuff, even in the fucking middle of winter. This one's nice. It's like a retro color. I think it has that detached hood I think I saw, right? That was pretty cool. I like it. I think uh, the first one's the best, and then the black one, the all black. That one's pretty dope. And then plus the inside, it says Supreme all over. And although it's not reversible, so who really gives a shit, right? Old English stuff... Uh, like I said, I don't really mess with Old English. It's not my thing. It's never has been my thing. Uh, the colors are okay. The black one's the best, obviously. Um, 
but I don't know. The gold interior is pretty nice, but like I said, I just don't mess with that old English stuff. Supreme means highest. Uh, I don't know. It's, I mean, it's nothing to get excited about for me. The spiders, oh no, that's not spider, it's stars. I still don't fuck with that. Like, they did the stars and the spiders this year. Not feeling it. Um, yeah, not feeling it at all. Although the black and gold is probably the best colorway. I have something similar already. I have that Polar Tech uh, varsity jacket from a while back. I still have that. It's very nice. That's probably the best one. I think they came out today and they already sold out, so no point of even trying to go over that. The peach one's the best. Uh, chore coat? Nah. Not feeling. Um, they did a lot of peach this year, which I'm surprised. I haven't ever seen them do peach. Like, they did a couple light color tees, some pink stuff before, and, uh, this is, like, the first year they're really overdoing peach. They're doing that, and, uh, I mean, they've been really overdoing the S logos, too, and their bricks. Like, all the people that I know that resell, they don't even go for that shit anymore because, like, the first S logo that dropped, I got the red one, and it was nice. I liked it. I resold it because I wore it a couple times. I just didn't like the fit. Uh, I didn't resell it for a shit ton. I think I sold it for, like, 140 which is still a lot, but I could do better. That one's actually nice. The black one is my favorite. Um, and then I got the mint one, and I sold that one, too. I didn't really like that after all. Uh... I'm kind of disappointed, like, I do wish the S-Logos fit me a little bit better, because they are nice, but they have so many, like, different variations of it now, it's kind of ridiculous. So, like, anybody that wants an S-Logo pretty much has it. Like, I think they're doing crew necks this year, last year they did hoodies. Um, the crew neck is pretty cool, I think we'll get to that later, though. But that one, the olive one's the nicest out of that. Um, so, I mean, have y'all picked up anything? I don't even, I haven't even asked y'all questions. Like, what are y'all kind of looking forward to, because, like... These jackets and stuff, I'm kind of just going through them just in case y'all live up north or something. Um, me, personally, I don't wear any of this, so it doesn't affect me too much. Like, I know it's pretty pricey for the big ones, um, and that probably hurts y'all's wallets and whatnot, but that doesn't really affect me because over here in Texas, like I said, it doesn't get too cold. It gets more, like, in the 60s, which isn't something for me. That looks like a sleeping shirt, honestly. Like, why are we buying this? Or who's... Eh. I'm not going to buy that shit. But, I mean, like, do y'all buy these? Like, I want to know, if anybody buys that big overcoat, the, like, furry one for, like, 2000 I want to know who you are because that's fucking dope that you buy that shit. I like this shirt a lot. I like that a lot. Uh, this one I'm not really too fond of. It's that, what is it, Polar Tech? Like I said, I have Polar Tech ready, and it's hot. So, I hardly ever wear that varsity jacket because it gets very hot in it. Uh, if I ever wear Supreme... Like, uh, outerwear, it's going to be my box logo hoodie. I like that light denim one. That was pretty cool. I'm not really into these uh, flannel things. Uh, this one's actually okay. With the crown on it, I actually like the burgundy one and the light blue. Uh, these are going to be, like, more of, like, uh, like a field shirt. It's the field shirt, of course, but uh, the one before that is going to be a little bit more padded. But this one's actually nice. I like the baby blue color. or like that lighter wash. really like that. Um, brown, they always have a brown, what is it, moleskin, yeah, they always have brown, uh, woodland shirt is okay, I'm not really into camel unless it's t-shirts and they're like, bigger, uh, I don't really like the zips on that kind of stuff, I'm not a big fan of zippers on shirts, but yeah, I mean, like, I wanted something different, I want to switch things up this year, like, I'm always getting black, red, white, uh, I want to get some lighter colors like the peach, this is actually okay, um, the but hands down, Paisley, the best thing Supreme's ever done with Paisley is that hoodie. Uh, these are okay. I do like the collar on it because it's that, like, leopard print. Uh, but like I was saying, I want to get some, like, different stuff. Like, I wanted those floral pants, and I can't find them, which is fine because I fucked up and I didn't get them when I needed to. Um, those patchwork pants, I kind of do want. Um, but, I mean, like, stuff like that, I can always go to, like, Goodwill or, like, different, like, secondhand clothing places, and I'm positive I can find some weird shit, like, weird pants. So I'm not really stressing if I can't pay, if I can't pay like 200 bucks when they come out. I can always just check somewhere else for it. Um, not really feeling this. That's kind of weird. It's like Japanese art. It looks like I don't know. Birds of Paradise. Tom and Jerry's my shit. I used to watch that all the time when I was younger. But they only did uh, this shirt here and a beanie. And I'm not into beanies and I'm not into work shirts. So it's kind of I don't know. I wish I could 
pull some of this stuff off because I do like Tom and Jerry. I'm hoping that they do a t-shirt like with the second round whenever they return for like the second part of Fall Winter and they release more tees. I hope they do something like that. This is kind of cool actually. Um, the zebra. That's not bad. Uh, the only one that looks good though is black and white. FYI. Uh, this, not really into, not really into, not really, that one's okay, that one's not bad. It's corduroy though, so it's only like fall and winter time I can wear this before it gets too hot. Really just winter, because fall it's still hot. Like, what is it, we're about to enter September here in Texas, and it's still 90 something outside. Uh, these are pretty cool. Uh, I never really felt like I needed them though. They've had a few different kinds like that before. Uh, mm, not really digging any of the colors though. This one's okay. I like the orange. Orange and burgundy is pretty cool. Uh, navy blue is alright. I don't know. I mean, just most of this stuff has already been done. And it's not like a bad thing on Supreme. That's uh, I'm not feeling that at all. Like, I want to be some. I want to get some different clothing, but that's too much. Like, a lot, I know Supreme's done a lot of stuff, and they're kind of really doing stuff like the Motion logo for last, uh, last season. They brought that back out. I'm really wondering if... Uh, they're going to say fuck it and just throw like long sleeve tees with box logos on them and a bunch of just box logo tees. Because Supreme right now I think is like at the highest it's been in a long time. Everybody knows what Supreme is now. Everybody's buying Supreme. Everybody wants Supreme. Uh, and it would be smart for them to do so. Like I honestly think that this year they upped the volume on the quantity stuff because like nothing sold out like instantly. Not that I saw. A lot of stuff sat. Uh, a lot of stuff people were paying resale for. Uh, the first week of the drop, I guess either they didn't know that the same drop happens a week later, or they were scared they weren't going to be able to cop, but a lot of stuff sat. I really like this, though. The floral waffle thermal. I really fuck with that. That's pretty cool. But, uh, I don't know. Like, I, I guess just people, like, wanted more, and they gave it to them, and now it's sitting. So, kind of resellers are out of luck, which is what Supreme pretty much was, is like the resale market. And now it's become more of like everybody can buy it, which is pretty cool, I guess. Um, before, it was real. It was just real weird. Like you had to be in the right loop, and you had to know exactly what to do to get your stuff. Um, now it seems like it's a lot easier. Like there's a whole bunch of people in San Antonio wearing Supreme uh, versus like three, four years ago, uh, people didn't know what Supreme was, and then I would wear it, and they'd be like, "Oh, what is that? Where'd you get that?" And then you tell them about it. And they'd be like, oh, I never even heard about it. And now you look at them and they're wearing like box logos on box logos and shit. So, what is this, Velour? That's going to be fucking expansive. I like that peach one, though. Peach and green are the best. And navy. Navy's nice. Black is going to be too plain. Um, peach, yeah, definitely the best. Like I said, though, they're, they're really, really pushing peach this year. Which is good because it's in. This is nice, too. It's kind of similar to the thing they did two years ago with that uh, soccer jersey thing where they had Supreme on the neck. Uh, but they're really pushing peach. And I'm not complaining because I like that color. But they're doing it on pretty much every item. Which is a little weird. Like, I've never seen them do that. But, uh, I guess you gotta kinda catch on. Like, this one, the pink one's probably the best. Uh, next to the olive, white, and black. Not really messing with these. Those aren't that cool. But yeah, I mean, a lot of people are wearing Supreme nowadays. A lot of people. This one's the best out of the three to me. And I do like it. Um, it just depends on the price point. Because I know with this, it can either go back or forth depending on the material they use. Um, it's probably going to be expensive, though. I was kind of wishing they would do a bomber with, like, uh, different designs on it. Like, a bunch of different designer brands are doing. And kind of do their own twist on it, but they didn't. Which kind of sucks, because I would pay for that. Not really into this. This looks, like, really old. Like, 70s stuff. And, I mean, it's not bad. Like, that Gucci one's probably the best color. Um, just not my style. Although I know some of you guys could probably pull that off and look pretty cool on it. But that's not for me. Neither is this. I did have that mohair cardigan from a few years ago. Um, I really did like it, but it fit super small for some reason. Like, I got a large and it fit like a medium. And I like to have my outerwear a little bit baggier than my actual t-shirt. So I ended up getting rid of it. And I sold it for, like, under retail. And now they go for a shit ton. Um, not really digging this at all. Or the other colorway of it, it's like a brownish green. 
I'm not feeling that one either. Not really feeling this either. Like, I mean, a lot of the outerwear, I don't really feel. I don't really feel that stuff. Um, This, there's my girlfriend in the corner asking what I do my citations on. It's easy bit, motherfucker. Easy shit. But, um, cashmere sweater. That's going to be expensive. Although they're pretty nice. That burgundy one's nice. Uh, what else we got? What else we working with? There's a lot of stuff. It's just mostly outerwear. Um, which I do like. Like, I, I really like outerwear. But the only problem is, like I said, here in Texas, there's really no point in wearing it. This I'm not feeling at all. It's too plain. And looks a little weird to me, honestly. Uh, what else we got? Like I said, this was recorded earlier, so I'm just waiting for myself to click out of that shit because it's not my thing. This is okay. Um, it's real plain. Like, they always just put plain stuff now, and it's... Mm. Like, before, three, four years ago, this would sell out instantly. This probably isn't going to sell out super quick anymore. Just my opinion. But, like, before, anything that said Supreme like that would sell out. I know a lot of people that were into it before could vouch for that shit, too. Like... Anything that said Supreme was going to sell out super quick, and there was really no uh, expectation. This I don't really care for at all either. It's a little weird. And I don't mess with that old English, like I said. It's not my thing. So uh, The other colors are okay, but I'm not I'm not digging it. This one's okay. Um, this is actually probably one of my favorites. I have another favorite that's a sweater that's probably the best one that I've seen. And... Uh, this one comes in second. This one's not bad. There's just so many things. Like, I don't know. And I know it's all expensive, so I don't want to, like, hype myself up and get into it. And then, like, when it comes down to it, ain't going to cop anything. So, uh, LOL, just stop. What the fuck? I didn't even respond. What she talking about? Um, these are cool. I mean, it's like what I wore in baseball. Like, when I was in a... In high school, I played baseball four years, um, and we wore these all the time. It was the varsity jackets that they would give us for tournaments, so we'd wear them out. Uh, and they were dope. I mean, they were okay, but it kind of reminds me of that, and that's what I wore throughout high school, so I kind of, I don't know. I don't really wear what I wore in high school anymore, so I'm not really messing with that. Although that white color is fire. That's probably the best. Yeah, without a doubt, that one's the best. Maybe the UCLA color. The UCLA color is pretty nice. Um, it's like a white socks on the left, and then something like a reds, I guess, because it's not red and blue. It's like red and black. So I don't know. Whatever you want to call that. But uh, yeah, I mean they're they're all right. It's nothing like I like none of this stuff. I'm really like popping to get. Like I'm just I don't know. And this is velour, so. If they would have done this just like a regular material, it would be nice, but they tried to do too much with it, I think. I don't think these are going to... I think they're going to be too expensive. Um, not really feeling this either. That color in the middle is kind of wild. But, whatever. Um, these are okay. Uh, I think there was a black and a white that looked okay. They looked decent. That lime color, uh, is popping up a lot, too. I remember when, uh... That box logo came out, and it was that acid green, and everybody fucking hated it. And people were legit trying to trade me, like, their acid green bogo for, uh, like, two of my tees I'd be having for sale. And I would turn that shit down. It was disgusting. And now that, that box logo goes for, like, $400. Like, all, all box logos are going for crazy prices. This one's nice. It's like a Notre Dame color. It's going to be more of a premium tee, though. Um, it's not going to be a t-shirt, so it's going to be a little bit more expensive, but it's actually nice. I do like that. Really reminds me of Notre Dame, so that's pretty cool. Uh, what else we got? Different colors. I can't even tell what the color schemes are going to be on the others, so I can't really go that into it. I'm not really digging these at all, at all either. This isn't anything for me. Uh, yeah, I'm not digging that. This is okay. It kind of reminds me of like either that Polo Sport logo or Tommy Hilfiger. Can't really decide which. But that one's okay. These are nice. I really like these. But uh, was it? it's thermal, so it might be lightweight. Maybe if they have a different color, like that camel one, I'll probably go for camel. That's not bad. 
But I mean, like I said, if you have a few things from like seasons before, you're pretty much getting a lot of the same stuff. Uh, different colors, maybe. But uh, this one's pretty cool. It's just real plain. I'm saying, like, I don't know. I'm not saying Supreme fell off or anything by any means, but uh, it, it ain't what it used to be to me. Just to me. Like, a lot of people are hyped up on it and wanting all the pieces. And I just kind of, like, drifted away from it. And there's some stuff in this one that I like a little bit more. Like, this one's okay. I think the logo's a little bit too big for me. White is nice. White, black. Uh, they're all pretty nice. I think the one that looks like the weakest of all is probably that sand colorway, just because sand and gold don't go that well together. Um, but they all look okay. This one I do like. I like this one a lot. Although I don't like the old English, like I said. Uh, when it's real small like that, it looks pretty cool. And I'm probably going to cop the pink one if I was to get it. The pink one's nice. <sighs> it's like getting late over here. When I had work this morning. Yikes. This one's alright. I like this one. But I mean, like I said, they've done this before. So it's not uh, anything where it's like, oh, the first time I've ever seen something like this. It's like, yeah, I've seen it. And it's nice. But I'm not freaking out over it. And plus, I know it's going to be like 148 for this. So I'm not really planning on it unless it's going to be that peach color. This, I'm not really digging. I don't like the camel for this season at all. I know a lot of people like the box logo with the camel on it. Uh, I don't really dig it. It's not my thing. There we get some more of that P uh, action on there. And this is just what the long sleeve pocket tee. Uh, I don't know. I think they would have gone with the woodland camel would have looked better. But that's just my opinion. Other people have their own. Uh, this is the short, the short sleeve one. They always have these every year. It's nothing special. Although that one all the way to the right is pretty cool. I haven't seen that color before. Um, I didn't even pick up the T for this. I don't really care for the Pony Noriega, so I didn't really care for any of the stuff for it. Like, I used to cop all the face tees just to say, like, you know, I copped it, but it's gotten to the point where it's like 50 bucks for a t-shirt, and I don't know who they are, and I don't want to be that guy. This was actually nice. I didn't really care for the split stuff, but that one's actually okay. I don't mind that one. Uh, Sumo, I don't get it. I don't think I'm supposed to get it, but I don't want it. So, I hate spiderweb stuff. All the stuff they're doing with the spiderwebs, I hate it. It's very tacky, in my opinion. Even the peach one that I think everything peach is fire, I don't care for this one at all. Uh, this one logo is a little bit too big for me. Although the peach one's nice, but like I said, it's just it's too much going on. That logo is too big. Even though it's like uh. It's all one color. Uh, I still not digging it. They fuck you up. They fuck your. They wait. They fuck you up. Your mom and dad. They may not mean to, but they do. I do not get that at all. I don't know if that's lyrics or something, but I don't understand. So, whatever. This is dope. Uh, like I said, they're overdoing the S logos and shit, but they're doing crew necks now, so that's cool. This one's not bad. The what is this red? I don't mind that. Uh, it's not reflective either, I thought it was, but that peach one, of course, definitely going to be the one to get. Peach is going to be, like, the thing this year. I can already tell, like, especially with that peach box logo. That shit's going to be insane. But we'll talk about that when that pops up. This one I'm not really feeling. I know, I think they have a peach color in that too. I mean, like, fuck, man, they have everything peach color. So, I mean, if you want something that's a peach outerwear, um, you're probably going to get what you want. Or at least one. These are okay, but that logo on it, uh, it's not embroidered and it's not screen printed. It's like plastic um, from what I've seen. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's like, uh, I don't even know what it is. It's just like chrome. I don't know if it'll last. These are the box logos. I'm not really digging this one. Uh, I've had three in the past. Well, I've had, I've had two in the past. I have one now. I had the Snow Camel, uh, which I sold. I didn't really care for it. Uh, I had the black one, which I had bought for 400 and I sold it later on for like 500 so that was dope. Uh, if I can get another black one this year, I'll consider that a W and just keep it. Um, but I really want it. Uh, the peach one's going to be going for a lot. Uh, I think the ones all the way to the right, the three on the right are going to be the most hard to get. Uh, right now I have a gray one, so I don't need a gray one. My girlfriend, I got me that for Christmas two years ago. 
I really appreciate that. Uh, but if you're going to be going for a box logo, definitely try for one of the original colors because I think the three on the right are going to go the quickest, then black, gray, navy, uh, red, and white, or white and red, however that goes. White and red are usually the most least popular. Uh, black is usually the most, but uh, whenever they do new colors, it's either hit and miss, but it seems like everybody's really digging it, and I don't blame them. That peach one is fire. I wish I could get the peach one, but I'm going to go for black just because I wanted a black one again. But, I mean, it's all preference, really. Like, if you really, really just want to get your hands on a box logo, I would say go for red. But, I mean, people are going to have their bots, like, going at it. So, I don't know. Not really digging that. And that's the one thing with Supreme, too. Like, everybody has a bot, and they don't have any capaches for that shit. Um, they've done a couple little things in the past to, like, mess up people. Like, where they started a little bit too late or too early. And it helps. Like, I got the Supreme Fives off of that. Uh, my girlfriend got the Supreme Fives off that. And, I mean, it's alright. Uh, every once in a while. But whenever it comes to box logos, it's, just, it's, it's hard to even try anymore. Uh, I've been successful once. And that was it. So, uh, it was that Snow Camel one. That was the only time I was successful. I bought the black one off a of reseller. My girlfriend bought her gray one for me off a of reseller. So, yeah. This looks like weird. When I was in Catholic school, they used to wear those. Uh, the girls used to wear those things in the back. Like, like a little cape. That's what it reminds me of. Not really messing with this. This is kind of ugly to me. Um, maybe if it's a different color. I don't know. But this just looks like too plain. Oh, uh, that one's pretty dope. I actually do like that one. And that's about it. I kind of like it, but I'm not going to buy it. Uh, what is it? Polar Tech. Like I said, I have a Polar Tech Varsity jacket. So already, I can already tell it's going to be too hot to wear anyway. Except for like when it gets really cold and that's about it. These, um, there's like no branding on them which is kind of weird because Supreme is usually all about the branding. Um, and not only that but I mean it looks like some shit you could just buy at Target or Walmart or wherever you shop like for just like necessities. It looks like you could just buy that shit there. And this is probably going to be upwards of $200 because it is Polar Tech. So, FYI if you're looking to get some shit like that. Uh, uh, okay, this is what we're just looking at. Um, I'm really digging this one. This one's pretty dope. This is probably my favorite outer piece that I was talking to y'all about. I really like the way those colors go together. And that's about it out of those, the middle one. That's it. I'm really going to go for that one. Uh, these are okay. I just don't like colors. So, I don't know. That one's pretty cool, too. Uh, I think they actually released today, though, so I'm not going to be getting it. And this one's okay, uh, with, like, the baseball lettering, the script. Those are okay. This one's nice. I like it. Um, it's that guy Blade. He's an artist, so that one's pretty cool whenever they link up with artists and stuff. They should link up with Cause again soon before his hype dies back down because um, right now I think he's, like, kind of at a high right now. And they should try to link up with him, even though Supreme's at a super high right now. Uh, but I think it would be a good little collab to have again. This one's okay. Uh, the green. Nothing too crazy. Nothing I'm, like, super wild about. But it's nice. And then you get, of course, these. But, like, with that, that always rubs, like, it, like, flips up on me whenever I wear jackets or, like, bundles up or bunches up. And nobody's going to see that shit anyway. That's dope because it has that floral pattern, but it's not reversible, so I don't really care. And it's all the basic colors as usual. Classic logo. They already do a bunch of classic logos. I remember like two years ago when they first said they were going to redo the classic logo. Everybody went crazy. And now it's just like they're redoing it all the time. Let's see what else. Uh, not really feeling these. Not really feeling turtlenecks at all. Um... Same thing, turtlenecks. Not really feeling... Like, I don't know. Like, all these, like, outer... It's like... They have so many outerwear pieces that it's kind of like they get lazy at times and it's just plain. Which isn't a bad thing. Like, if you want just something plain, but it's not for me. Uh, these and the blue are kind of nice, too. I would either get these or the jacket. I'm not going to get both because that's going to be a little weird, but... Um, they're not bad. This one, uh... I think we already went over that. I don't really 
care for those at all. Like I said, my grandpa has some stuff like that. Those are the polar tech uh, things I was talking about. It's kind of stuff we already went over. There's those 3M all overs. I think they were like 200 something, so I'm not even going to try. And plus, they're not that attractive to me. This is probably my favorite uh, bottoms. I just don't know if I can pull that shit off. But they are nice. Very nice. Uh, these are okay, but I mean, it just seems like cheap. I don't know. These, I think we went over that already. Yeah, and this, I don't, I don't get it. Like, flight suit. Who the fuck's gonna wear that? Like, unless you're in flight school, I don't know. Like, I don't see the point in making this shit. I don't see the point in selling that, but whatever. Cargo pants are cool, but it's like a jogger bottom. I know joggers are out of style. I still have a few pairs of joggers, but I don't really wear them. Uh, everything pretty much now has to be tapered. But uh, overalls, not really into overalls either. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't see where this shit's like supposed to appeal to people. Like, they're trying to be fashion forward or whatever. Trousers, I'm not into it, especially if they're fucking wool. That's going to make my balls fucking sweaty. Embroidered spider pants, not into spiders. Like I said, that shit is just, eh. The colors are weak too. Work pants are okay. The khaki, the burgundy, um, blue. The green ones are pretty cool too. Uh, these have like a pattern on it, but I'm not really too sure on the pattern. Well, these are just regular jeans. I did cop the skate jeans from a couple years ago, and those fit okay. I did get them tapered down on the bottom. Uh, I think if I was to get the rigid slim jeans, uh, I wouldn't have to do that. These right here. So I may pick these up later if I need pants, but Supreme jeans are pretty pricey, so I don't know. I might just go with another option on that. This is kind of dumb, I think, because you're going to cover up your logo with either a hoodie or uh, a shirt, so I don't get the point. But cool. I don't like the spider shit, like I said. I just I don't get it. I don't like it. Uh, I didn't cop the pants. I mean, I didn't cop the shirt, the hoodie. I'm not going to cop the shorts, so... Not my thing, especially when they did like that last, a couple years ago, I think they put that leader, it was like a Asian guy, I think, on them. I didn't buy them either. This is kind of dumb, I thought. It says, let's fuck, with a bunch of bunnies. Like, I get it, bunnies fuck, but it's kind of weird. I didn't cop any t-shirts. I did want the screw one, but I didn't get it. This is the one I was thinking, like, reminds me of middle school, like when you wear those x-ray tees or has bones all over your shirts. Kind of reminds me of that. That was my favorite of all of them. Uh, I still didn't cop. I wanted the purple one. And it sat for a while, but I just didn't see myself paying 50 bucks for a shirt when I just spent like 160 on a backpack. So, I don't know. I'm just waiting for stuff that I actually do care about. I don't want to just be buying stuff to buy it like I used to because then it just sits and I have to sell it. And I still don't understand the shirt. Like, I don't get it. Why are they fucking us up? Like, and what are they talking about? But whatever. Um, this reminds me of pinball when I used to play it in uh, school. Whenever you be on the computers, you play pinball. It kind of looks like the map. I don't really care for this shirt, though. <laughs> I don't really care for any of the tees, honestly. This is probably the best one besides the screw. And the smiley face is pretty dope. My girlfriend wanted that one. But I don't think she got that either. We kind of just, like, chilled on it. And I'm not really into, like, curse words on my shirts anymore, like where it says fuck or whatever. I did have a few that said that, and I got rid of them. Just not really my thing anymore. I used to, like, have a few, like I said, but the more I, like, wore it, the more I was like, eh. The camps. I don't wear camps, but I'll go through them. Uh, what is this? Glossy Ripstop. Not into that. It's kind of weird. Um, Velvet. Fancy, but like I said, I don't wear camps. This one's pretty cool. Uh, the black one's probably the best, and the olive. The white one's a little bit too loud. Uh, pink will probably sell too, just because it's pink. Leather, hell no, it's to be too hot. But I guess if you're in like New York or something, that's pretty cool. That's nice. I like that just because it's that blade guy again. His art's pretty dope. Kind of looks like minions though, if you look at it. Uh, twill camp cap. These are probably gonna be the best. Uh, what is it, 3M Reflective? They're doing that on everything. Really just, a f I'm not even really a fan on the backpack. I just needed a backpack, and I wasn't about to spend 250 uh, for last year's. I was just going to spend retail for this year's, so. I w that was just me. 
these are okay, the corduroy ones. Um, that one right there is pretty nice, but that's about it. Not really into these at all. Uh, the flaps, like, I don't need that here in Texas. These are pretty cool, but it's really plain, so I don't know. I can't really predict how that's going to go. The pink one's probably going to sell out, though. Sequence, that's kind of, mm, uh, like Bedazzle, it reminds me of. Uh, same with this. I mean, I can't wear that shit. These are pretty cool, um, where it has it, like, on the visor. I remember when I was, like, f out of high school, some of the baseball teams started putting their logos and their names on uh, the visors, and I thought that was pretty cool, so that's probably why I think it's still cool. Um, Fashion-wise, I don't know. Quilted camp cap. All right. Uh, the side, what is it, side pocket. I had this side zip, and I sold that to Ethan. If you're watching that, shout-out to you. I think he got it for his dad. I didn't even sell it for resale. I think I sold it for like retail. The shit was expensive. Uh, contrast is dope. The white one is nice. The black one. Uh, all the other colors are kind of weird. Wool. I can't do wool on my head. That's gonna itch. I had that dongle one before and it fucked me up. Like, my head would itch all the time because of that shit. These are nice too, but I mean, I don't understand why they say camo when it's fucking black and olive. But it's not camo. Uh, Polar Tech. Polar Tech's hot, so if you're looking for something to keep your head warm, I'd probably recommend that one. That's why I hardly wear my Polar Tech Varsity because it's so hot. Suck. It's like they did the fuck one a while back, and it's like they ran out of ideas, so they said, uh, let's do suck. Uh, Twill Cam Cap. This one is probably going to be one of the best ones, too. People are going to be going for that stone one and the olive one. Black one, too, probably. Whenever it's like basic colors on camp caps, people get those just because uh, it's really easy to rock them, but it depends on the size of your head. Like mine, it's too shallow for it, so like it sits high, and some people like that, but it just wasn't me. Beanies, I'm not a fan of either. Uh, I've had a few before. I never kept them, though. I gave one to my girlfriend. I got her the loose gauge uh, burgundy one from, I think, two years ago. She still wears it. She likes it, but beanies aren't really my thing. Uh, these are pretty cool, uh, but like it's mohair, so that's gonna be very itchy again. So, uh, not really digging these at all. These are kind of ugly. Um, these are okay, but I mean it's just real plain. So I mean I'm not really hyped up on any of the other stuff like that, like beanies and whatnots. Uh, Tom and Jerry, of course, like I said, I'm a big fan, but I don't like beanies or work shirts, so it kind of sucks. I'm just hoping the second half of the season when they do T-shirts, they include a Tom and Jerry one. Uh. I think a lot of people would like that. I think it would sell out super quick, too. Just because it's something you can wear. It's a little bit easier. Uh, these are decent. The pink one's probably the best. Or the cream. The cream one's actually the best. I'll take that back. Besides that, it's just kind of colors that don't coincide. Um, cuff logo. Eh. Kind of looks like the fake ones on eBay that you see all the time. I'm not digging these at all. These are kind of ugly. Man, I mean, I don't know. I don't really care for any of the beans. This one looks just too much. It looks like old streetwear. Which I guess is cool if you're into that, but not me. Still not hidden with these beanies. Not really caring for them. Camel was probably the best of the three, though. Not digging the old English stuff. Uh, man. The more bedazzle stuff. Like, this is just kind of weak. I don't know. Like, I don't get why they're doing bedazzle stuff. That's kind of weird. I don't really understand that. Like, I understand that they're trying to be, like, more fashion forward and shit, but bedazzling, nah. More old English stuff. The green one's probably the best. Like I said, Playboy, I can't really rock Playboy. It's not my thing. Uh, those are probably going to be the best ones. I know a lot of people were taking the patches off of them. I don't know what they're doing with them, but... Uh, the black one's nice. The pink one's nice. The purple one I like. I actually like the purple one. This I'm not really into. Um, what did it say? I didn't even see what it said. It says, Thug Blood. Alright. That's cool, I guess. Uh, reflective Repeat Beanie. I wasn't even really feeling it on the backpack. I just needed a backpack, like I said. So, 
I'm going to pass. Tonal one, nah. Definitely no. I don't know. I'm not really into any of these beanies. And it's kind of sad because like, I really wish I could find a good beanie. Um, I guess just not through Supreme. Supreme 66. Face mask. So this one pulls down to a face mask. And I've never gotten into that stuff. Like I know a few years ago it was real big. Um, but like I said, here in Texas it doesn't get cold enough for that. And I don't rob no places. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and pass. I don't need that. I think they have like a face mask on its own too that's releasing, but uh, don't quote me on that. These are always pretty dope, uh, just a big logo. Uh, I mean, it's just classic Supreme. I mean, you get these pretty much every fall, winter. Uh, like I said, I mean, beanies, it's always the same stuff pretty much. You'll get a couple different uh, styles and whatever, uh, maybe a couple different colors, but you're pretty much getting the same thing, so not much to say on that. Uh, probably the pink and the light, like the robin egg, is probably the cleanest. Uh, what we got after that? Loose gauge, that's the one I got for my girlfriend in Burgundy. I don't think they have that now. Uh, I don't even know what that is, but I'm not going to get that. It's like for your neck. These are the headbands that I was talking about. I sold my red one. Uh, I also had the black original one that came out. I sold them both. I didn't really care for them, but I'm probably going to go for a red one again this year, just because I miss it. So just to get another one. But they're probably going to sell pretty quick. And then there's that other face mask I was talking about. But, yeah, red is probably going to go black, white, then blue, yellow. Yellow is probably going to be the one that's, like, last to go. They may even sit. Uh, reflective logo. I don't know. I guess, like, a face mask for skiing. That's pretty cool. But I don't need that. I don't ski. There's no snow over here. There's no nothing over here. It's just Texas. So... Uh, not into that, but I think the black one's probably the best. Uh, what we got? After that, just some hats. Illegal Business Controls America. Um, not really ever cared for that kind of stuff. Leather, nah. Uh, leather's gonna be too hot, although that silver one's pretty cool. Um, these are nice. I mean, the white one is probably the best. Um, uh, besides that peach one, but it does have that furry stuff on it. Spider stuff, creep one, those are easy passes. Uh, this one, not really feeling either. I'm definitely not feeling that. I don't understand that. Or that. I think they could do so much better on the snapbacks and fitteds. I just don't understand why it's the way it is now. But, whatever. Um, the one on the right is probably the best. Not really feeling these either. This is, like I said, this is a long video. I'm just kind of going through everything. The suede's, I think the suede's came out today, and they're not that they're not that great. Olive, uh, burgundy, probably the best. Stones okay. Black, of course, classic. These not feeling at all. Kind of sad. Like I wish I could feel some. Like I wish I could like some of these. I'm not feeling this either. Um, these are okay. Maybe the camel. Maybe the black. Probably the black. Um, I've been wearing that kith one for the longest. Time for a new black snapback. Not feeling this at all either. I don't know. Definitely not that. The trucker stuff. And then the way it is on there. Eat shit. Nah. Don't know what this is, but I'm not liking it. R.I.P. Um. Ah, I don't know. They have that on like their long sleeve this year too, and I'm not really feeling that. So, I have a black one that's just like that without the R.I.P. My girlfriend got it for me, and it feels it fits like super big. This I don't need. I don't need any of that stuff. That was the same thing, but leather, so I definitely don't need that. Um, what we got next? Backpacks. Like I said, I got the red one. Uh, it was between the red and black. Black probably goes better with more stuff, but I did want a red backpack, so perfect. Just went ahead and cop that one. I'm uh, probably going to get a duffel bag, but probably going to get it in black just so whenever I set it on the ground it doesn't get super dirty. Because right now I'm using just like whatever bag. So, so if I get a new duffel bag, it would probably be alright. Uh, they also have the shoulder bags, the small ones. I think the small ones, shoulder bags are okay. And there's a 3M on the duffel. This one's okay. Um, I don't use shoulder bags, personally. Um, but my girlfriend uses them. Like those Vera Bradley ones, she'll use them if we go somewhere. She doesn't want to carry anything big. She has a Michael Kors one. Sorry, you should get this one. Like, that'd be pretty cool, but she wasn't really caring for it. 
Uh, and then I never really understood these organizer bags. Like, I don't know. This is probably going to be used as a wallet for most people, even though it's like a cell phone case. But I use a 6 Plus S or 6S Plus, whatever you want to say. Um, and I doubt it'll fit in this, so whatever. I have that camera croc pouch still anyway, so I'll just use that for whatever I need. Uh, what is this? It's a motorcycle helmet. It's pretty dope. I don't need that, but I could wear that around the house. I'm just fucking around. This is like $500, so I can't justify that shit for a damn speaker. Ain't no way. It's cool. I mean, the jawbone is better. Uh, if this was gold, I'd be copying this shit. This stuff's nice, but if it was gold. Most of my jewelry that I wear, I like to keep it gold. I do want to get that gold pendant. Uh, not the seahorse one. Although the seahorse is nice, this one. Um, I'd rather get the gold bar. I think the gold bar is probably the best one. So I'm going to try to get that later. If not, my girlfriend is saying she wants to buy me that for Christmas. So we will see. It's like, it's like going for like, what, 500 450 for the gold bar. These are going for retail pretty much. They sat for a while. This is where it gets stupid. Like they're charging a fucking, they're going to sell a fucking brick. And this is where I get stupid because I'm probably going to fucking buy the brick just to say I have it. Floodlight, I don't need. I'm still like really a fucking brick, but whatever. This they actually sell uh, without the Supreme logo. And they just put a Supreme logo on it for Supreme. So, and it's reselling probably. The, it's probably the best thing you could have bought to resell. Hot water bottles, I don't know what they're used for. I don't need to know what they're used for. I don't want it, so. I actually have all the other bottles, though. I have uh, the one with the clip, the big one. I have that one. I have the sports bottle. I have the thermos. I have uh, the, what is it, the espresso cup. I have that. So, I mean, I have a lot of them already. I just, I don't need no fucking hot water. Uh, this is pretty cool. Like, if I was to put stuff in it, like, I have my Pokemon pins that I get from the packs, and I think I could put those in there, but. It's like 60 bucks, and I'm not going to spend that. This I'm probably going to end up copying just because I need an umbrella, and it's pretty cool. Uh, although I don't want everything to match. Like I'm going to have all the 3M stuff, so it's going to be a little bit weird, but it's whatever. Uh, these was like, well, we wore these like in middle school with the little studs, and then they'd fall out and poke you, and it fucking hurt. Uh, but now it's pony hair, so it's supposed to be better, and it's supreme, so fuck it. I'm not going to get it anyway. Uh, what else we got? Scarves, not into scarves. Never ever wore scarves, so probably not. Uh, the socks, I have the white ones right now. Uh, not that great. They like ball up. And I mean, honestly, if you're going to spend $10 for shipping, if you're not from New York or LA, uh, it's best just to go to Target and buy some fucking Hanes socks for 10 bucks because it's the same shit. It's just with Supreme's name on it. But if you really want the Supreme name, then I mean, might as well. Or if you're buying stuff already. Uh, underwear, I have both. I have the black ones, and I have white ones. I dyed the white ones purple, and they came out nice, but, uh, whenever I wash it with other whites, it does bleed onto them, so, word to the wise, if you're gonna use RIT dye, make sure you, uh, don't wash with other whites, because then you'll fuck it up. I bought the white shirts before, and they came with holes in them, so, I was kind of pissed off about that, but, I'm probably not gonna buy them again. They're real thin, and the quality on it's not very good. All the Hanes quality stuff, uh, the best one probably is the underwear. I don't have this thermal. Um, it's like 30 bucks, I think. This is a pen, uh, that you can stab people with. Pretty cool. Uh, no, it's not. I don't even know why the fuck I would need that. But I do have the Colico pen, the one that they first came out with, like, a couple years ago. It's, like, real short. Uh, I still use it. It's pretty cool. Um, but I don't know what the fuck I would need this for. I'm not gonna be fighting anybody in class. Or fuck it, maybe, right? I don't know. Uh, Zippo lighter. I don't smoke. I don't smoke weed or, uh, cigarettes, so... This, I don't really need it unless I want to light my candles, but nah, I don't fucking need it. I'm trying to justify ways that I can buy some shit, but I'm not going to. It's that bunny again, the fucking horny one that keeps asking to fuck. This one's pretty cool. I like uh, the seahorse, the pendant on it. It'd be a cool keychain. Um, This one's alright. I mean, it's kind of weird, but whatever. I wanted the gold one, but it's it was going to be too big, I think, on my keys, so I just passed, and it sold out. Now people want like 35 bucks for it, and I don't spend that much for a keychain. So, uh, the bunny again, this little guy. Uh, I always wonder, like, if I could just pierce my ears and put two Supreme pens as my earrings, or would that be stupid as shit? Which it probably would be. So this is the end. It's like a Looney Tunes theme. Uh, Joint Man. 
I think it's that guy Blade again. But it's like it's just a joint. I don't I don't know. I don't skate anymore, so it don't matter either. Uh with the skate accessories, but that joint man's kinda weird. It's kinda cool though. I might cop that. It's pretty cool. Uh yeah, I don't skate anymore. Alright and I don't need to buy this anymore, so that's cool. I like to save money on that. The deck, that one's not cool. I like this one. That's probably my favorite, like as an art piece. I wouldn't mind getting those. Those are pretty cool. And that's it. So yeah, um, kind of went through everything. I know this is a super, super long video, but uh, thank you guys for watching. I mean, just kind of going through everything. I'm going to be doing videos like Wednesday nights, whenever I find out what exactly is coming out, just so I can kind of inform you guys. I know they do it on different sites already, but just to kind of give my YouTube community a little bit of something. Uh, I'm going to be unboxing the backpack when it comes in. So it should be like next week. They actually shipped it today, which is crazy because it usually takes two weeks shipping on the first release. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys plan on picking up or what you guys have picked up. Uh, that is it for today. I'll catch you guys next time.